Hi there, welcome back. I'm Pamela and we're in my kitchen again where I share with you some of my favorite recipes or those most requested by friends and family. The other day my son called me from Oregon and requested his grandmother's uh, cranberry sauce recipe and I thought, oh my goodness, what a great idea with Thanksgiving right around the corner. So I'm sharing this with you today because everybody loves it and it's a little bit different than your typical recipes that you find online or in cookbooks. Uh, many of them are just sugar and water and cranberries or they might add some uh, orange juice or orange rind, but my mother-in-law always added an apple and some cinnamon to her cranberry sauce and we've always loved it and so I wanna show you how to do this today. It's so simple. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get our apple um, cut in quarters and then we'll take out the center and we are going to peel it. But before we continue with that, we're going to take a cup of water and one cup of sugar and we're going to bring it over to the stove and we're going to bring it to a boil. I have cleaned a 12 ounce bag of cranberries, washed them and picked out the yucky ones. Those that are squishy or might have a little bit of mold on them or whatever. If it doesn't look 100% toss it out and we will add the cranberries once the water gets to boiling. All right so my water and sugar are boiling and I'm going to add in my cranberries. And they're they're not even covered completely in water they're just almost but not quite and we're going to bring this back to a boil and we're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes. And that's it. But about three or four minutes into it, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and my diced up apples. And be sure you don't dice up your apples too small. Uh, you don't want them disintegrating while they're um, cooking. This is kind of what I've got here, this type, these size pieces. So anyway, you're gonna bring this back to a boil, bring it up on high. Your cranberries are going to pop open, some of them, not all of them, that's not important, but a lot of them will pop open and um, they will cook. And like I said, about it, not quite halfway through, we're going to add the cinnamon and the apples and finish our cranberry sauce. Okay, the water has come to a boil and you can hear these berries popping open. Now I'm going to turn the heat down so it doesn't bubble over. I'm going to add a generous half teaspoon of cinnamon. And of course, if you really like cinnamon, you can add more. And I'm going to drop in my apples. And what's going to happen is these apples, once this cools down, will take on the color of the cranberries. It will, um, they won't be so, so light. And that cranberry color will just permeate everything. But oh, the cinnamon and the apples smell so good right now. So we're just going to let that cook for another five or six minutes. I brought the cranberries and the water to a boil, let it boil a couple of minutes, added the cinnamon and the apples, and now we're going to finish cooking it on a simmer. It doesn't really need to hard boil at this point, just kind of a medium heat or a simmer. We're going to bring it back up. So this is done. I'm going to turn off the heat and remove it from the heat and let it cool down a little bit, then put a lid on it and let it cool to room temperature and then refrigerate it until I need it. And this will keep in the refrigerator for three or four days so you can make this ahead and not have to deal with it the day of. Okay, so my uh, mixture has been cooking for about 10 minutes. You can let it go another five minutes or so if your apples are still crunchy. But in 10 or 15 minutes, they should be just about the right consistency. And you can use any apple that you like in this recipe. The only apple that I wouldn't recommend is a Red Delicious. I think they tend to get a little mushy, and I don't care for the flavor. Um, but if that's your favorite apple, feel free to try it. And if you're having a big crowd, double the recipe and use a bigger pot. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying my videos, give them a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.